U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Going to run with Madison again. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They get nine yards back on the run there. and They're left with a much more makeable third and two. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Working out of the gun, Cousins. This is caught by Addison, and he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very solid gain of 27. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. And he'll just get rid of it. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Cousins again. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the counter, ETN. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. And they'll go again with ETN. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Straight ahead, ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13.
Looking to throw, Lawrence. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Here's Madison running on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Throw left side, and Osborne has it. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Here we go now on first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Madison is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Sometimes offensive, you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Now a second and six. Now Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Open man. This is Brenton Strange, the tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 43. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Another tote for ETN. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, 
And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. On second down, a run with ETN. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Play action. It's Lawrence. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Vikings are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Following the interception, Cousins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. A first down throw for Cousins. Pass complete to Addison. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the red zone now, Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. To the air again, it's Cousins. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Cousins on third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Jordan Addison from eight yards out. And the Vikings have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, <laughs> not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. 
Lawrence will throw. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now Lawrence looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Final play of the half. It's Lawrence. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Toss left side for ETN. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And now they're in the hurry up. Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now Lawrence changing the play. On play action, they'll throw. This is caught. It's Kirk. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 22-yard line. Now Lawrence to throw. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. I'm sure there was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Lawrence. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. They'll roll him that. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten at their own 22. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Here's third and six. Here's Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Here's a give to Madison running right. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, 
now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first and ten, Cousins. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Oliver. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Cousins on first down. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Here's second and three. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. First down, here's Cousins. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. Second and ten. On the handoff, it's Madison. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. The Vikings on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two, and it brings up four. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Joseph's got it, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Here's second and 10. ETN up the middle. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. And quickly, they get to the line. On third down, Lawrence. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. 
and the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that'll change the game? And that may have been one that just did. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. Now Lawrence to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by a Caleb Evans. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. And he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. On second down, this is Madison. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage. They are powering through. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Certainly not the highest of scoring games, Charles. Their offense did some okay things. Not a lot of points on the board. But